still ain't got it but me. Hey. Shout out to today's sponsor uh, for sending me over this amazing, amazing, amazing product. This right here, guys, is a new air fridge and a wine chiller. Um, so they sent this over to me to review. So let's get into it. So we just installed this baby about like um maybe like a week ago just to kind of give it a really good test as you guys can see this bad boy is super super deep um and it comes with a light that's a blue light which will illuminate at nighttime and it's so 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 sticking cute um oh as you can see i just touched that button it's like already super sensitive so just be weary of that but you can change the temperature and from Celsius to Fahrenheit, up and down right there. Um, you can change uh, up and down right here. You can change how loud the light is as well if you don't want any light. Uh, but I like the light, honestly. Um, so I'm assuming that this temperature will control like both areas, that which is so freaking dope. And I just now realized that, like that's so crazy. Um, but at the bottom, these little three brown trays are the uh, trays for the wine. Um, don't do like I did though, and not close the wine bottle all the way because as you guys know, red wine can stain. Um, so I had to clean that out um, just here just a second ago because I just realized it. Um, but yeah, so the only downfall I can say to that is that um, maybe the wine trays needs to be um stained or something like that so if there was ever a spill or something like that of the wine inside the uh cooler that it won't change the color but i don't mind it it's fine you know um not a big deal to me so as you guys can see like i said it's very very deep those are the fans right there which you have one fan right there and then you have two on the top which are super super cool these uh trays right here they are uh coated um and these are just ones that you can just literally easily wipe off um so i like that about it but yeah guys there's another little blue light so you actually have two two freaking uh blue lights which is so amazing so amazing so amazing um and they also have this feature right here i know you guys are probably like what in the heck is this but it is actually a lock so this comes with a lock so if you were to put this outside on your back patio or something like that and you wanted to lock it you actually can for me we have really 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 bad kids uh, <laughs> and um whenever we fill this up with soda and stuff like that if we don't want them touching it then we can just lock this at the bottom right here. All of this is stainless steel. Um, I honestly just gave them the dimensions um, of the countertop because we used to have like an ice machine here, but um, it ended up messing up. So I just gave them the dimensions and this came in clutch. It fit perfectly. Like I said, stainless steel door. This is a indoor and outdoor type of cooler. Um, so I know whenever we finally get our back patio established that this will be a very good addition. This would be a good Father's Day gift as well, you guys, because you know, men, they have their own little man cave. Um, so that would be so dope to have inside their man cave or if they wanted to, uh, you know, redo the back patio or if you have something like me where I have a little cut out where our ice machine used to be. Um, if you guys wanted to change that out, you guys could as well and it would fit perfect, so. y'all so workout is done i am tired so typically what i like to do in the morning times 
Hang on, let me let me turn some light on for y'all. All right, y'all, so workout is done, and right now the time is about, let's see, it's 11.37, so, <sighs> I'm exhausted. Those 100 push-ups, though, it is better when I do them in the morning than when I do them in the afternoon. If you guys do not know, me and my best friend, we're in like this group with like six to seven other females, um, and we all report every single day and do our 100 sit-ups. So, so far, y'all, I didn't have this definition at all in my stomach at all like you can kind of see my abs here and here and up here and a little bit coming right there but and you can see down here where my stomach has gotten tighter but yeah so i'm excited about that i'm seeing results sis and also i'm excited because bath and body works is open today and they have their ten dollars off the three wick candles and since i've been waiting for that like waiting waiting patiently waiting for that so um i guess today i'm gonna get dressed up hit the mall up quarantine style mask on mask off type of shit you know and uh get them candles sis like i can't believe i'm just really excited to get up and go get candles like this quarantine stuff is showing me, like, showing me a new side of myself. But anyway, anywho, it is 1137, like I said, well, 1138 now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get prepared to eat some breakfast. Um, I think I actually may film my skincare routine video today. I'm not for sure. I don't know. I don't know. I should get more, I should get better, should I say. I should get better at the stuff like you know for my youtube planning and things like that i should be i should do better but y'all i can't say it enough but sis be sis be having a lot of stuff going on like i really do have a lot of stuff going on so i i just can't devote that much time and effort to a youtube channel like that but i mean i see all these other youtubers and they inspire me and things like that but at the same time they ain't got like a whole family and stuff like that and the ones that do got like a whole family and stuff like that they normally like they normally have an editor so and i don't have an editor i'm doing all my recording and editing and you know placing all my music and things like that uploading tagging trying to find creative titles i'm doing all of that by myself so um, it's just kind of hard when you're doing it all by yourself like I want to start teaching my husband just so he can start you know getting into the gist of things but you know what I think I actually will I think that's gonna be my partner because I know that if I put him on he'll be like able to edit for me and yeah I don't know so because you know how men have a certain creativity level and women have a certain creativity level. And I, I'm a little bit of anal retentive and I like shit how I like shit. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so let me go ahead and get this breakfast started. I'm not doing anything major for breakfast at all. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do for breakfast is like some waffles, some eggs, um... We are out of bacon. Oh, no we not, sis. I got the last pack of bacon. So, if you guys do not know, like, this is my jam right here. Like, the microwave-ready bacon. Like, y'all, I have to have this every single day. Um, this just makes my life so much better because I can just pop this bacon in the microwave and just go, honey. Like, I can go you know finish getting ready for work finish doing what i need to do for the day like i just pop it in the microwave put it on two minutes and we good see it's like we good and it's so good and um since i got the bacon i guess i won't be doing eggs so i think i just do my waffle and bacon um and so a new thing that i've been doing is trying this out it is the um starbucks iced espresso skinny caramel macchiato i used to be in love with caramel lattes but now i'm in love with caramel macchiatos i've never had the skinny version up until i bought this and so far so good like i really really like it so I, i'm trying to have a cup of coffee every morning and breakfast before i head to work and just every day period um 
So I'm really, really excited about that. Like I told y'all before, I'm trying to cut back on my carbs and stuff like that. And this um, 112, 112 fluid ounce has about 15 grams of carbs. So that's really, really good for me. Um, I'm not going completely keto as you guys know. I'm just more than likely, like I'm just more so doing a modified keto. Um, I'm just trying to watch how many carbs I intake. And so far so good. I'm back in my 160s because as you guys know, I was up to like 172. And now I'm back down to 169 this morning when I stepped on the scale. I'm so excited about that part. Let me wash this cup out. So I don't like to put too much in my cup just maybe about right there is all that I'll do. It's not like a whole full cup, just a little bit. And I only put this in the microwave for maybe like a minute. I think I'm gonna start doing longer because I like my coffee hot and hot for a while. But first, let me put my bacon in. Good morning, Sasha. You sleep good? Okay. All right, y'all. Let me get him some breakfast really quick, and I'ma come back at you guys once breakfast is made. It's still on cop a surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. We're going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Yeah, we going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure I just thought I should let you know Now, no one's no more, no I got so high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know Now, no one's no more Thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 All right y'all, so I have made it back from the nail salon And this is what my nails are looking like Inspo came off Pinterest Um, this is what they're looking like I love them, love them, love them. I'm a person that gets my nails short for one and I get them really, really square. No, baby, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm so happy I could go back to my original nail salon. Um, he got me right. Like, shout out to you, Ethan, at VIP Nails. But yeah, so right now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and head over here to this computer. So what I need to do is to, um, like there are certain things, like if you want to put ads on your videos and stuff like that, you have to um, you have to get on YouTube Studio on like a computer or something like that. So um, you can't do it off your phone. And I have a vlog that is ready to go up, but I just don't have like my end template and I don't have any ads or anything like that placed on it. If you guys do not know, with YouTube, we get paid off of ads. So sis. I worked hard on this content, so I'm gonna get paid. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here into YouTube Studio and put these ads on. Uh, it's my tablet in here. No, your tablet's not in here, Chandler. I put it somewhere. I know, I don't know. But yeah, so I am in my studio app right now. I'm gonna go to my videos and put the ads on the video.
So now what I like to do is to go back into YouTube and hit the tab that says like, hit the tab that says like your videos. Um, and then I come over here where those three dots are. I hit those three dots and then it pops up this menu right here. Um, I hit share and I'm gonna create a post and then I'm gonna type something real quick. All right, and so, and so all that I put pretty much was like, hey guys, new vlog is up, check it out. And I'm gonna hit post and that just generates to all my viewers and I'm gonna look and see how that looks. Okay, boom, there's my post. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in there one more time, go back, go back, go to share once again, and I'm gonna copy the link and I'm gonna go to my, you, uh, what is this app? Oh snap, getting people already saying hey, hey. Okay, I'm gonna go over here to my camera roll where I got my thumbnail, which is right there. And I'm gonna do edit photo. I'm gonna attach my link right there where it says type URL. You see how it just populated? I do that and then I say attach to snap and then boom all I gotta do is just put my little swipe up thing up on her swipe up search okay so I actually like that one so I'm gonna enlarge it so I enlarged it and yeah, so now I'ma just hit the blue arrow. I'ma post it to my story. And then I'ma post it. And I'ma save a copy. Because what I like to do is do this like three times in a row. So like if somebody missed that first snap, baby, hey, there's two more snaps behind this is. Ain't no way you missed it. So do the same process again, adding it to my story. This time I don't save a copy. Okay, so I done that twice. So now what I'm gonna do is go to my Instagram, go to my story. And I'm going to let you guys know on my Instagram that Seed's got a new video. I don't put the swipe up feature on here because for one, um, for Instagram, you got to have at least 10K subscribers to have that Instagram follower, um, to have that Instagram swipe up link, which I fucking hate. And your girl is only like, she's, I'm real close to 6,000. So if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, please do. My handle will be on the screen. And also, um, I will put my handle down below uh, in the description box. So just look for that. So let me just type this real quick and tell them that the link is in the bio. Okay, so boom, here we are. And there we go. I post to my store and I hit share. And there we go, sis. We chill, we out chill, we out chill. All right, so that is Oh Lord, here he go. He's. What? Can we go outside? What? We can go outside. No. I hurt my elbow. I don't want to play. You don't want to play because you hurt your elbow? Yes, I can't pedal. You be alright. Then I can't pedal, so. Stop that crying, boy. All right, y'all. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all that I had to do. So what I'm gonna do is now see what my damn husband got up. Yeah, it started. I said his gentleman walked straight out here. That was sprinkling. Mm-hmm. Y'all, here go our pavers. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
that is one thing I will say. It's been so rainy. We have not been able to finish our setup at all. It is raining. Mm-hmm. You can put outside some more. No, it's time So I have made my famous shepherd's pie. My husband wanted shepherd's pie. Let me turn this off. So my husband wanted shepherd's pie, so I went ahead and made it. So if you guys do not know, there, hey Cordell, turn that TV down. But yeah, so I made the famous uh, shepherd's pie. And so the lazy way to make it is that you brown your ground meat, and you're gonna use that seasoning blend that's already in like little packs. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So this is the little seasoning blend that I'm talking about. So you brown your ground meat and pour that in there. Um, these are the mashed potatoes to make it the lazy way because I didn't feel like actually making potatoes. These are so freaking good. Um, I used ground turkey. I used this kind of ground turkey instead of, um, instead of actually ground meat because if I'm gonna eat something this bad, let me at least squeeze in just a little bit of healthiness. So I got some steamable um, fresh mixed vegetables. So I browned my ground beef and I used onion powder. I used beef bouillon, like the actual like, um, not the cubes, you can use the cubes if you have those, but like, you know, something that's in a thing like this. Uh, I know this one says the chicken bouillon. I just ran out of my beef bouillon when I was making it. So I use this, the beef bouillon, the ketchup, the onion powder, the raging, this raging Cajun seasoning. I love to season my meat with this. And what else did I just use? I used some browning sauce, but I only use the browning sauce just for color. Whenever I'm getting ready to make my slurry, you'll need some flour. You'll need, um, for me and my family, like this is our dish right here. So for me and my family, I use one cup of water and I use two big tablespoons of flour. Mix that together to make like my slurry or Worcestershire, whatever you wanna say, the W sauce, I use that some minced garlic and I used some black pepper. This is all of my seasonings. So I browned, like I said, I browned my ground meat with the um, seasoning blend and then I poured some Worcestershire sauce. Like I literally just sprinkled it over like that. You know, of course, sprinkled the black pepper all over. I don't have measurements though. The liquid browning, um, I just pour just a dab, honestly, just until I can get like a, a brown gravy color. Um, because once you pour in that slurry mixture, it's going to make it um, like a light brown color. And I didn't like the light brown color. So I went and got this and it darkened it up. Um, of course, sprinkle all over your uh, Raging Cajun seasoning. I put one big tablespoon of minced garlic in there. I sprinkled my beef bouillon all over it. With my beef bouillon, what I did was um, just sprinkle it and then I would taste the food to see how I like it and then sprinkle it some more. All this is gonna do is help bring out the beefiness of the uh, 
of the shepherd's pie and then i literally just squeezed a little bit all over my pan of ketchup and once again sprinkled sprinkle sprinkle onion powder on there so that's pretty much all the seasonings that i use to get my shepherd's pie so the first thing you do is to pound your baking dish. Um, you can use Pam, you can use any type of other cooking spray. I just used the Pam cooking spray. And I sprayed my pan, and then I put um, my ground beef, then I put my mixed vegetables. Um, I did not put those in the microwave at all. I just put them straight in here frozen. Um, and my mashed potatoes on this, on the container for the mashed potatoes, you can actually put these in the in the microwave for three minutes. So I put those in the microwave and then I spread this on top and just kind of spread it all out. Um, the last that I'm a, the last step that I'm gonna do is just add some parsley parsley flakes all over it. Sprinkle my parsley flakes on there. And so that's it. So now what you do is put your oven on 400 and you bake it for at a maximum of 30 minutes. So I don't like mine to stay at 30 minutes uh, in the oven because I like I don't like the dark brown color of it sometimes um, if you keep it in there that 30 minutes. So I just eyeball it um, and watch it. But I mean, majority of the food is already cooked. You're just trying to basically like mush it all together and y'all it is so freaking good like i really didn't want to eat it because y'all potatoes definitely definitely blow me up is is do you can i help you sir no i can i help you no you can help okay. me you can help me okay well i'm gonna need y'all to step on back okay okay thank you but yeah, so right now I'm just waiting on this oven to heat up. And we gonna proceed okay. to give you guys what you need. So the oven is ready. Let's go ahead and put her in. So I put it on the top rack um, and just let it cook. I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes, y'all, because I don't want to get sidetracked with this timer. So I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes and I'm gonna go and look at it and see how, I, how everything's going and if I like it. timer off and she is looking good if you guys can see that gravy just bubbling up honey I think I'm gonna go ahead and take her out so this is what she's looking like um, when there when it's in the oven the gravy will sometimes seep up the sides which is all better for me um, having this little extra stuff around kind of also helps me further um kind of decide when to take it out because like i said i don't want my, want my potatoes to get uh too brown they have like a little hardness to them like they're still soft don't get me wrong but they still have like a slight little crust to them but this is my famous shepherd's pie that my husband and family love like y'all i can make this whole dish and it be gone like in a matter of like a few hours is gone. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I totally forgot to close out the vlog yesterday. Um, so long story short, my cousin ended up coming over to give me um, my new cup. Let me show you guys. So she came over to give me this Starbucks mug, this pink Starbucks mug. Y'all, I love this cup. This cup is so cute. 
And look at like all the little crazy like little designs on it and stuff like that. So she came over to um, give me my cup. And y'all, I'ma tell y'all, I know I told y'all in the last vlog, but if you get the opportunity to try this drink, it's Uptown Cocktails. It's like a margarita. They have different flavors. I know they had strawberry, they had mango. Um, they had a few other uh, flavors, but it's 13.9 alcohol. It's ready to drink. You don't have to mix this up with anything, and it comes from Target. So, if y'all get the opportunity to try it, please do, because it was so freaking good, and you don't need a lot to actually get, like, a buzz from it, like, we, we, me and my husband and my cousin, we were, like, just going through that bottle child um but needless to say we got to talking and we all was just laughing vibing having a good uh a good nice time um that was her first time to my house that was her fiance's first time to my house so you know of course you know we had to have a drink with him pour it up and you know just laugh and talk and so uh, but yeah so that is why i forgot to close out the vlog but um Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Don't forget it. <laughs> uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share this video um, if you feel that you would like to share it. Um, but yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, babes.